Hello, folks. Today is Friday, May 20th? May 20th? May 20th. 2022. As usual, my name is Jake Baldino, here to talk about all the video game news that has been going on this week, and we got a chock-full week. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of new game announcements, too. So let's just jump in. The first thing is the hottest new rumor on the street this week. It is a rumor, though, so of course, say it with me, kids. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, this is a Red Dead Redemption rumor. So according to Chris Klippel, the French journalist behind Rockstar Mag, there are two things reportedly in the works. Number one is the next gen, you know, the PS5, Xbox Series X version, the port of Red Dead Redemption 2, which, you know, whether that's true or not, it seems likely. It makes sense. Also, nice reason to replay it, uh, especially because like if it's anything like the PC version, PC version is insane. The other part of this rumor is that Rockstar is also working on a remake for the original Red Dead Redemption. We've heard this one before, uh, but this is coming from the, the guy who, you know, sometimes gets some things right. Makes sense since that game is not available on modern platforms. Uh, hopefully it doesn't turn out like the Grand Theft Auto uh, trilogy thing. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are immediately going to comment that. We'll see whether this is true or not. It's a crapshoot, honestly. What I want Rockstar to do, Rockstar, if you are listening, remake Red Dead Revolver, the best one. Yeah, yeah I'm saying it. I mean, yeah. like, I don't mean that, but like, oh, but like, it was so good. It was so good. You don't mean it? It's, it is awesome. Yes. Yeah, is it the best one? I don't know. I, I went too far. I, mean, I think I went too far, but. Two different games. It is really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Great story behind that game. Definitely look that up if you don't know the whole history. Next up, a new game announcement. Uh, while it doesn't have a title yet, we do know that it is a big old fantasy RPG AAA developed. Uh, this is actually by Techland, who has announced that uh, they are shifting focus to this new fantasy project. They're still working on Dying Light 2 and the content for that, but they said because it's successful, now they're happy to reveal this. We just got a little look at concept art, and uh, a lot of the people on board working on this project have come from various other awesome game projects like The Witcher 3, a lot of significant people, uh, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, The Horizon games. So, you know, there's potential here. It's probably going to be a long time before we see anything, but it's good to know that there's another uh, game in the oven, so to speak. Also, another scoop, another rumor this week is from insider Jeff Grubb, the journalist we've talked about his stories quite a bit before and his track record. Uh, he suggested on a kind of funny show this week that The Last of Us remake is coming this year. The Last of Us remake has been a long rumored thing, but this is probably the, the most official thing we've heard. It is interesting because I'm curious to see like how much of a remake is this going to be? I don't really think The Last of Us needed to technically be remade from the ground up. It's a pretty damn solid game. Just replayed it like a year ago anyway. It already runs pretty smooth on current consoles. But maybe they got some ideas. I would actually love to see if they have like one or two new things to kind of spice it up and make it a little more interesting. Or it's just one of their big things and they're just trying to get it to as many people as possible and maybe even ride the wave of the HBO show that's coming. Who knows? I'm just speculating, but according to this report, we will have it this year. It might be like a holiday thing for Sony at this point. Very curious to hear what you guys think if you want a Last of Us remake. It's, it's so weird to even say out loud. And also the people behind Genshin Impact announced their new game. It's called Zenless Zone Zero. We don't know too much about it, but the gameplay trailer uh, does suggest some pretty intense like action combat and a totally different setting and vibe and art style from their previous game. This is more of like an urban, like cool, like street type of thing going on. It is an RPG. It does seem possibly cool. And uh, they're going to have closed beta signups. We don't know when exactly, but yeah. So uh, between this and the Techland game, uh, it's just worth pointing out like new intellectual property games that aren't sequels of other things or spinoffs or remakes, just new OG stuff, which is always great. But there was a sequel announced this week that I'm really excited about. Greedfall 2, baby. Hell yes. It's called Greedfall 2, The Dying World, and I'm really excited because I thought the original game was pretty cool. It was not perfect, definitely had some flaws, but it had a lot of potential, and it was one of those games where I ended the Before You Buy being like, I would love to see a sequel, and I got my wish. All we really have is a tone-setting cinematic trailer that's actually pretty sweet, uh, and we know that it is coming 2024. Hey, next up, this episode is brought to you by Epic Desk. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there, like me, have been using plain, boring mouse mats for, you know, work or gaming or whatever, but why? With Epic Desk, you can get a desk mat that expresses you. Something bigger and bolder, fun. You know, you might spend all day or night 
at your desk gaming, you might as well make it more enjoyable. It seems like you guys really liked these the last time we talked about it, so Epic Desk sent us some new ones. They come really nicely packed in a slick sleeve, and they really provide with some pretty sweet designs that are in three different levels of rarity classes. They're all individually signed and numbered, and the extremely limited runs only have 100 in existence. They even come with their own certificate of authenticity. Plus, they've been collaborating more and more with gaming content creators for custom desk mats, so keep your eyes peeled on their site. The mats themselves are really high quality print. There's a nice thick stitching all the way around them. And they all come in a size of 36 and a half by 15 and three quarter inches. They're also significantly thicker than your average desk mat and it makes a hell of a difference. It just feels premium and gaming and using your mouse is just smoother. I love them enough where I have one here at the office and I have one at my home setup too. So if you wanna check out the designs and grab one, head to the link in the description below or go to Epic Desk dot shop and use code GAMERANKS for 15% off any stock desk mat. Go check that out, link below, and thanks to Epic Desk for sponsoring our videos. Oh, and earlier in the week, in case you missed it, PlayStation did announce some of their lineup for their new rollout, their new version of PlayStation Plus that's coming next month uh, in June. A lot of people have been dubbing this like PlayStation's Game Pass, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we do have a list of games now. Uh, I can't really rattle them all off right now. It's a long list, but it is not a full list, interestingly enough. So, you know, really, I'm just curious to see what else pops up and we'll see how the offering really is. That's all well and good and fine, but the thing that actually made my ears perk up, the thing that has interested me is that it s seems like the older games, like the PlayStation 1 games you're going to play through this service, are going to have trophies, which is really cool if this turns out to be a thing. Yeah, uh, Bend, the developers of the original Siphon Filter just straight up confirmed it on their social media that Siphon Filter for PlayStation will have modern trophy support when it launches on this service. So it doesn't necessarily mean that every game is going to have this, but it's a cool precedent to set and I would love to see other games do that. Uh, I would probably, I would definitely, I'm not a huge trophy hunter guy, but I would 100% platinum Metal Gear Solid if they if they put it on this, please God. Next up, uh, last week, as you probably remember, we talked about the fact that there is a new Mafia game in the works and apparently it is going to be like a prequel. But another follow-up to that story this week, if true, uh, the reports are suggesting that this is actually going to be a prequel that focuses on the Salieri family and it's going to take place in Sicily. Dude, there is, if this turns out to be true, there is so much potential here for a game to tell a Godfather Part Two style story of someone coming to America. Like there's, it could be so cool. Don't want to get ahead of myself though. I, I just like the mafia games and stuff like this, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see probably for a while. Next up, uh, all the stories we talk about are linked in the description down below, but these here are just a couple of cool little things you might want to check out, some trailers and stuff. The first is actually a video from Red Bull. They do this thing where they do like uh, skate sessions where they take over airports. And specifically this time it's themed around Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And they just kind of did a fun little thing where they shot it in like a third person perspective and they added the Tony Hawk HUD. I don't know, I liked it, it made me smile, so there you go. Also, we have a reveal trailer for The Valiant. This is an RTS uh, with a bit of a story spin on it, and it just seems very cool. Also dropped a trailer for Arma Reforger. Uh, this is like a smaller experience, uh, but you get to see where they're going with the Arma games, with the new tech. I am not really an Arma guy, I still am just the type of person that I just have Arma 3 on my Steam library only because of DayZ. Remember Daisy? Also, something I actually missed, but maybe you missed too, a, a trailer for a new game called The Chant. This is a multi-platform, third-person, horror action adventure game uh, with a pretty trippy, mind-bendy trailer uh, with just a kind of different setup. This is also coming in 2022. I hope it's good. In other news, uh, after previously delaying it, CD Projekt Red has come out now to talk about the Witcher 3 next-gen version, the PS5 Xbox series versions. According to them, it is now officially coming the fourth quarter of 2022, if it doesn't get delayed again. But if you're looking for a reason to replay The Witcher and you don't have a PC, that's probably gonna be the reason. Also, last but certainly not least, we saved a banger that dropped right before we started shooting this video. Death Stranding 2, seemingly confirmed. Uh, Norman Reedus did an interview, just kind of an overall interview talking about his projects. He's, he's doing a book. The Walking Dead is a show that still exists. It's ending. It's ending. Okay, yeah, The Walking Dead is ending. Thank God. And in this interview, he just casually dropped that he is working on the second Death Stranding. There you have it. There's been rumors, there's been suggestions that they wanna continue Death Stranding, and now it seems like that is definitely the case. I personally thought that idea, the whole thing, was 
totally just open and shut done. I personally would like to see Hideo Kojima do another new weird thing. I'm also wearing his name on my shirt. That's kind of weird. But on the flip side, now that they have things figured out, it gives them more room, I think, to tell another interesting story in this world. I like the whole thing they have set up here. I just kind of wanted to have explored more. So now maybe they can do that. God knows when that's coming. Hopefully that is legit. It could just be a weird Hideo Kojima play. But uh, yeah, for right now, it seems like Death Stranding 2 might be a thing. But we got to get back to work here. So those are the new stories that we thought were the most interesting this week. We want to hear from you guys in the comments, though, what you're thinking. Death Stranding 2, of course. Uh, all the new game announcements, what has you the most excited? Is it the AAA Techland game that we know nothing about? Or the Red Dead rumors? Like, let's talk about any of this news down in the comments. We definitely want to hear from you. Things get a little crazy, though. So like I always say, if you want to yell at me directly, Twitter and Instagram, at Jake Baldino. And I, on my other channel, I just put out a video about The Order 1886, a game that I really, really love, and I will defend it. So check that out if you want. But thank you for coming around. If you like what we do here, just kind of shoot the shit, catch up on some news, clicking the like button helps us out. So thank you if you do that. But that's it. I'm Jake Baldino. Have a lovely and safe weekend. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you next time. Pizza's on me.